Welcome back to the 6th Year Garage. In a previous video, we took a look at my $500 1989 Toyota pickup when it was all together. And it was pretty rusty. Now that I've got it all torn down and stripped apart, you can see the rust is a lot worse than it looked. For example, I knew the rockers were pretty much wasted, but I didn't know that the inside of the rockers and the floor was actually wasted as well. I mean, look at this. Just a pile of tetanus right there. And behind this sound ending is a nice hole in the floor. Let's go look at the driver's side. It's actually worse. I should probably bring a hammer with me. So you thought the passenger side was bad. Look at this. Uh, there's the actual rocker panel right there. There should be a piece here that sort of covers the inside and that's completely gone. This is all hollowed out now. Not to mention where the floor attaches is gone and that goes all the way up into here. There's the mount. So the really the mount is even holding up the outside of the body right now. Um, I didn't take a look behind here yet. There you go. Nice hole in the driver's side floor. Uh, you can see here I've got quite a mess to clean up when this is all said and done. The driver's side of the bed is pretty much how it was when I got the truck. I mean, you can still easily put a hammer through it. Which is actually kind of fun, especially if you have kids. I give my kids some hammers and uh, let them go to town on this side of the truck. And they loved it. And you can see there really is not much left. I cut this fuel door out. I may be able to use that on my 80. I don't know. But the one on there is all rusted away. This one was actually kind of decent. Unfortunately, when I took out the bed liner, I was hoping that this would be in a little bit better condition. I could use the inside of this bed on my 1980 as well. But as you can see, it's not. This is all, all rusted away on that seam there. There too. Um, this is actually decent. I'm thinking about cutting that out and saving it and using it as a panel to put on the inside of the tailgate on my 80 because it's it's just open. Uh, there's it's only one wall and basically if you go ahead and drive like a four wheeler into the bed, you're going to be kind of like dipping down into the tailgate. So I'm going to make a panel to kind of put on the inside of that tailgate and this will be perfect. But I don't want to remove this bed. Uh, I'll show you why underneath in a second, but. As I mentioned in the last video, it is resting on the cab, and I went ahead and loosened, or actually cut the front two mounts. It's bolted down on uh, each side on the rear now, with just one bolt on each side. But this whole thing may fold like a taco if I uh, pull this bed apart. So I'm gonna wait till it gets to its final destination before I uh, attempt that. The wheel wells are actually kind of solid uh, compared to the rest of the truck, but both sides have rust right here, and it's in the exact same spot. There's another good look at the wasp colony there. So let's go underneath, and this is the driver's side, which is actually the better of the two sides, if you believe that. Uh, right there, you see. Nice hole in the frame. But as you go back, it's pretty decent. It's just, it's just kind of fun. And right here underneath where the uh, front of the leaf spring mounts is very sketchy. Oh, yep. Yeah, that's about paper thin. And now with all the uh, splash guards and frame guards out of the way, we can get a good look at the passenger side, which is one of the worst I've seen, and I've seen a lot. So there goes the bottom of the frame. <laughs> and the side here, it's, it's weak, but it's not that thin, really. The shock is actually not mounted anywhere. The mount has rusted away at that crossbar, which is non-existent because it has rusted away. 
But my kids have made a nice access hole to see the underside of the bed and just how gross it is. Um, you can see it's, these things rock from the inside out. Once you catch it on the outside, it's a lost cause. It's just too bad. I hope this will be in a little bit better shape so I can at least reuse some of the sheet metal, but uh, as you can see, it's pretty far gone. There's the mount that I went ahead and cut just because, one, the hardware is all rusted and no longer an actual socket size. And it uh, isn't really something I want to be under at this point. And if you look really close, there is a brake line. Where is that? That I can't believe is actually still holding fluid. There it is. That's a brake line right there. I'm kind of surprised that these lines aren't blown out or leaking yet. So there you have it. That's the back half of the truck. The front half is actually sort of decent as far as like the cab mounts go. And the uh, radiator front support is really good. Usually there's all holes rotted through here. That's actually kind of solid on this truck, kind of unusual. Uh, the front frame area here is getting pretty ugly. Mikey's on his way over right now to come get this truck and we're gonna take it over to the shop spot for the rest of its dissection where we'll be using the engine trans and transfer in another project and the rest will be scrapped. I'll probably hang on to the rear axle. Maybe we'll keep the front suspension intact just in case we need it. And of course, we're saving the wheels and tires, but everything else will be scrapped. This truck is done. Thanks for watching guys. I'm gonna go make my appointment to get my tetanus shot now.